friends. So I'm working on a Dell R710. I'm building it out to be a VMware ESXi server for my home lab. Um, I'll host web server, a couple other things. Uh, I guess it'd be better if it had its fans in. It's gonna make it stupid loud. That'll make it better. So anyway, this video is about bad cables and the very vexing problem that comes with it. When you convert an R710 from the piece of crap 6i, also known as the Perk 6i, you have to change the cables because the Perk 6i uses an older cable connection style. So I opted to go with an LSI 9260-8i, which is just a standard hardware rate controller. I'm opting not to go with a uh, a battery backup for it because quite frankly I don't need that kind of performance what I need is reliability on a system that just isn't going to get attention most of the time so unfortunately this system does take a while to boot up so I'm going to just cut to the chase and show you what you're looking at when you have a problem so what will happen when there's a cable issue is you're only going to get two drives to come online and the others are going to flash and if you have SATA drives, they're just going to stay offline. So these are 7200 RPM SAS drives. They're 1.8 terabyte Dells. And two of them come online perfectly accessible. You can build an array. Two of them, the, the controller doesn't even see. And it will see this one, but it will not see that one. It's, it's just the craziest, most irritating thing. And I've spent a lot of time fighting with this. Uh, let me get into the RAID controller card. It, it takes a bit for me to get there, so uh, it, it doesn't always see post-finish. So let me mess with that, and I'll come right back. So, uh, we don't need to go any further than this. You can see that I only have three drives. My two 1.8 terabytes um, and my uh, 4 gig Western Digital Purple. So let me change the cables, and you'll see the difference. In them. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let me Let me do this a little bit differently. I'll do it live. So just as a quick aside, I found that what I need to do is go into the unified server configurator and choose hardware diagnostics at which point post completes and BIOS will, will uh, the, the RAID BIOS will come up. And this is kind of irritating, but whatever. So there we are, we're in, we're in the LSI BIOS, and we've only got three drives. So, I want you to watch this, because like I said, I'm going to do it live, because it's really a pain in the ass to get in here. So, I'm just going to, and these are hot swappable, so it is not a big deal to unplug them. So I ordered these on Amazon. Um, they're going to barely work if I'm correct. Um, they're 30 inch cables and yeah, they'll barely work. And if not, I'll send them back. And they showed up in two days, unlike, unlike the uh, first set that took weeks. Again, I'm just laying these over so I can do this test and show you guys this. And this has been, you know, I've, I've got an IT degree, I've got 20 years of experience in IT. I, I actually at one point worked for Compaq doing server configurations for uh, SAP implementations. I, I've done a lot of enterprise work. And I've never seen anything like this where a cable deficiency causes drives not to be recognized. In fact, I've really never seen cables give me problems. They either work or they don't. And the interesting thing is they're Foxconn cables, so they're, they're, it's a good quality brand. Alright. 
So let's go in here to scan devices. And boom, just like that, all six drives came up. So uh, we're missing one drive so far. So let's see if maybe it needs to be reinserted. So we will scan the devices again. And there it is. So there you see it. All six drives were online, whereas only three of them would come online with the other controller. And the interesting thing is slot 0, 1, 2, and 3 are on cable 0, and 4 and 5 are on cable 1. So if you're trying to optimize your system for performance, you may want to consider that. So I'm going to keep a mirror on this side with a hot spare, and then I'm going to keep um, a couple of SATA drives on the other cable, and it just should balance my traffic a little bit on the ports. Uh, I'm thinking about using slot 3 for something else. Um, I really don't need a lot of capacity on this because it is a home slash lab server. I hope this is very helpful for you. Please remember to like and subscribe to my videos. Um, I will go ahead and put a... Uh, we're going to shut this down right now. Um, I will go ahead and put a link in the description to these cables as well as this card so that if you're building a server based on R710 for FreeNAS or for VMware, you know where to get the cables that'll work. Um, and in fact, you know what? I'll go ahead and do another video on that just here. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.